Hi folks, I want to describe for you a bubble sort algorithm. We talked about this in class and we've seen a couple of examples, but I thought it might be good to review for the final exam just to remember and see how the thing works uh, in general. So what I have here is just a, it's a loop, uh, an array of integers, right? Uh, nine of them all together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I set a variable equal to the length just to make it easy to get started. The idea is we want to have a variable, an integer variable. I'm going to call it top in this example, but it could you could name it anything. Um, <clears throat> that will start point. It'll refer to the very last cell in the array to begin with, and every time through the loop, it's going to go one cell down. So the, at the first time, the idea is you're going to find the maximum value in the array and bubble it down to the very end. Then the next time through the loop, you're going to take the next largest value in the array and bubble it down to the next one to the end. And then the next largest value, bubble it down to the third one from the end, and so on. And notice uh, all the while, the numbers that are less than the largest and the next largest and so on are bubbling to the left. So the large numbers bubble to the right, the smaller numbers bubble to the left, and by the time you're done going through, by the time the top cell reference gets all the way down to 1, then you're done, basically, is what it boils down to. So, or down to uh, one, which would be this guy right here. So let's let's see how that works. We'll start, I'm gonna start going step by step. First, we fill the array, we set n equal to nine. We initialize top to be eight. Eight, because eight is the index of the top element in the array. And then we're gonna let i, or the ix, go from zero up to seven, one less than top. And we're going to compare every neighboring, every cell with its neighbor. And if they're out of order, we're going to swap them. So let's see how that looks. So uh, ix is going to start at zero. We're going to check is i is array sub zero greater than array sub one? Well, it's not. So that means nothing's going to happen. Then we're going to check the next one. ix is now equal to one. So one is this cell. We're going to say is the Array 1 greater than array 2. Well, it is. 9 is greater than 7. ix is equal to 1. ix plus 1 is equal to 2. So we're comparing 1 and 2. 9 is greater than 7, so this code is going to swap those guys. So we assign temp to be 9. We assign uh, array 1 to be 7. And then we take the 9 and put it into array 2. So notice the net effect of these three statements was to swap these two values. The 7 went into the 1 and the 9 went into the 2. And uh, and so they, they're now in a different order. Notice that's the first step of the 9 bubbling up. Now since 9 is bigger than all these guys, all these comparisons are going to be successful. The 9 is going to be greater than the 4, it's greater than the 3, it's greater than the 5, it's greater than the 8, and so on. The 9 is going to end up here, and all these guys are going to, well you'll see what they do, they're going to bubble down. So uh, the 4 is going to get swapped with the 9, then the 3 will get swapped with the 9, then the 5 will get swapped with the 9, then the 8 will get swapped with the 9, then the 6 will get swapped with the 9. And then <clears throat> that'll be it. And then, uh, of course, top is 8. Uh, let's, oh, we got to keep going. One more. That 1 is going to get swapped with the 9. So now we're at the very end and we go to the next value of top. So now top is going to become 7. So now top is going to be here. And then we're going to go compare all the ones less than top. And this 1 is going to bubble down, and the 8 is going to bubble up. So let's see how that works. That's it. So now top is going to increment. Top is now going to be 6. And the process is going to repeat. I'll skip through this a little faster and you'll see that the one is constantly bubbling down and the larger numbers are bubbling to the right the four is going to the right the three is going to the right finally the two is going to the right and then we're done so at the end of the loop the one bubbled all the way down to the bottom all the higher numbers bubble to the right and when we're finished we have a sorted array so that's the way it works